they're made of blood and they're bleeding their own blood. That mountain is bleeding its own blood. towards the Red Rock, which I'm very excited by. I saw it already from the, ho the highway and was like, oh look, how cool. Then I realized, oh yeah, that's what we're, that, that's our destination. So yes, let's do this. I hear the visitor center is mighty fine. Joshua trees, which I had no idea they were out here. It's not that I regret going to the Joshua Tree National Forest, whimper snapper that it is. It's that, uh, it's that you didn't necessarily need to go there to find you some Joshua trees. Also, we almost killed a bicyclist. Well, if you kind of started cutting these early Also, there are the, I can't believe I'm not a Joshua trees, known as Josh trees, according to Chris. Look, 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 look. What the? I was told via, I don't know, some sort of Googling, that we should not forget to stop by the visitor center when visiting the Red Rock Canyon. I'm gonna say it had something to be desired, like more learning. I wanted some geology. Give me, give me, give me information about the strata. Something, something. cool, it just kind of was like an over glorified gift shop. It was, so. which we got a sticker and we needed one. So there was a reason to go there in the first place. But, but uh, I think I feel a little um, spoiled by the Grand Canyon one. Yeah, that was really cool. The Grand Canyon Geological Museum. And However, it wasn't... I do think that Yellowstone has the best visitor center. Okay, stop talking about things that we haven't been to together. Okay, saying. okay. Mm. Uh, uh, 
Stop traffic ahead. Come and see if they say wild. Prepare to stop. Everybody's out. That's not a good sign. Why are you people standing outside of your cars? Get back in. We have to go places. We have Death Valley to go to. We've turned up the car. So we're stopped here in Red Rocks, somewhere near Pahrumpf. And traffic is stopped forever. I just hope we make it home in time for uh, Book of Mormon. <laughs> so just after half an hour or so, we're back on the road again, finally. But we're going like 10 miles an hour. Hopefully get past this road work soon. that I never would have purposely gone. My husband he takes me places. It's official. We're in Death Valley. It's official. We are, where are we? California, yay! We are back to California. That's three states in one day. Also three national, national parks. parks in one day? Well, eh, two. Lake Mead is Just two. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Let's try it again. Now. This is what is happening to our Earth. Oh my earth. Oh, oh my earth. <laughs> Here we have my daughter and Death Valley. There are many places to go. My daughter is trying to get to all of them by pressing all the buttons. How old is she? Two? No. Sixteen. What? <laughs> So we're here in Desert Valley. Uh, right now, I'm at the, what was this? The Furnace uh, RV Park? Or Furnace Wells or Furnace Springs RV Park? It's pretty cool, and just like you would expect, it is very hot and very dry out here. But man, the landscape is beautiful. I wish we had time to spend here longer, but Cat really wants to get home, so we are headed back. This gorgeous, the striation in the hills out there, amazing, amazing. All right, well, time to get back in the car. So it's only 80 degrees where we are in Death Valley because we're finally back up into the mountain area. But we have managed to do just a little bit of overheating. So we're taking this opportunity to do what my husband likes to do everywhere we go, which is to make a Karen. We were here. Were you? The salt flats down here are amazing. Huge, flat. I just want to burn across them on a dirt bike or something. All right, so I'm way up on a hillside next to uh, where our car broke down. And uh, while well, it's a hard climb and really high, Lumpy and Cat are right there. I will see this out.
Let's relieve it. It's like a huge snowball now. We gotta build a snowman. Do you wanna build a snowman? 